In Bethany, there lived two sisters, Mary and Martha, with their brother, Lazarus. They all adored Jesus, and Jesus was very fond of them also. One day, while Jesus was visiting them, Martha was busy cleaning the house and preparing food. She wanted to be sure that Jesus was well taken care of. Instead of helping her sister, Mary sat at Jesus' feet, listening to him speak. The harder Martha worked, the more upset she was looking at her sister. There were many others who were also sitting with Mary while Martha was preparing a meal. Finally, Martha complained. Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Please tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part. When he said this, Jesus was ignoring the traditional role of women and encouraging Mary to think and learn. He did not say that Martha's role of service was unimportant. What he did say was that being a disciple and learning about the ideas he was explaining was even more important. One day, Lazarus, their brother, fell ill. Mary and Martha were worried. Their brother was sick, very sick. The sisters knew Lazarus might die soon, so they immediately sent a message to Jesus. Jesus was preaching in Jerusalem when he got the message. Master, there is a message from Bethany. Mary and Martha want to meet you urgently. Mary and Martha? Yes, Master. Do you know them? Of course I know them. How can I forget sweet Mary, who washed my feet with perfume and then wiped them with her hair? I wonder, what could be the matter that she wishes to see me so urgently? The message says that your dear friend Lazarus is very ill and might die. Hmm. Lazarus is ill, is he? But he will not die because of the illness. In fact, this illness will demonstrate to the people the glory of God. Jesus did not go to see his friends for the next two days, and after two days told his disciples, Come, it is now time to go to Bethany. My friend Lazarus is sleeping, and I have to go and wake him up. Are you sure you want to go back there, Master? Have you forgotten that not too long ago the Jews there were ready to stone you to death? If Lazarus is sleeping, he will soon wake up. Why do you have to go there? Don't worry. People realize their mistakes at some time or the other. And you have not understood what I meant. When I said Lazarus is sleeping, I meant that he is dead. If he is already dead, then why do you want to risk your life and go there, my lord? I have told you, this is an opportunity for everyone to see the glory of God when I go to Bethany to wake up Lazarus. The disciples were all confused. They just couldn't understand what Jesus was trying to say. However, they did not question him any further and accompanied him to Bethany which was very close to Jerusalem. On hearing of Lazarus' death, several Jews from Jerusalem had come to Bethany to be with Martha and Mary to comfort them. When news of the arrival of Jesus became known, Martha rushed there to meet him, leaving Mary at home. Ah, my dear Martha, I am happy to see you after so long. Oh, Jesus! We sent word to you to come here quickly. If you had come sooner, Lazarus would not have died. But I still have faith and hope in you. I know that if you ask, God will grant your wish. Calm down, Martha. Please, calm down. 
Have faith in me and God. Your brother shall soon be alive and with you. Oh, I know that. He will come alive when everyone else will, which will be on the last day. No, Martha. Your brother will become alive now. What do you mean, Master? He has been dead and in the tomb for four days now. Jesus looked at Martha calmly and placed his hand on her shoulder. Look at me, Martha, and tell me, do you not have faith in me and in God? Martha held Jesus' hand, looked up at him, and said, My Lord, how can you even doubt my faith in you? I trust you with my whole being. Well then, let's go and see Mary. Where is she? I'm sure she will be waiting anxiously. She is at home, my Lord. Come, let's go there. I want to meet Mary also. So Jesus, accompanied by Martha and his disciples, went to Martha and Mary's home. As soon as Mary saw him, she rushed up to him and repeated what Martha had said. Oh, Lord Jesus, why did you not come as soon as we sent word to you? If you had, our brother would be alive today. Jesus embraced her and told her what he had told Martha. Trust me and God, and Lazarus shall soon be alive and with you. Mary was as surprised as Martha had been when she heard this. Their brother had been dead and buried for four days. How could he become alive? But she did not say anything, as her faith in Jesus was also very strong. Come, lead me to where my friend Lazarus sleeps. Everyone was very curious. They all knew Lazarus had died, so how could he become alive again? So along with Jesus and his disciples, Mary and Martha, a lot of other people marched towards the cave where Lazarus had been buried. On reaching there, Jesus saw that the mouth of the cave had been covered with a big stone. This boulder has to be moved so that Lazarus can walk out. The people were all amazed. No one had ever witnessed a dead person become alive again. They looked at each other, wondering what was going to happen. My Lord, it has been four whole days since our dear brother was buried. His body will be smelling very badly by now. Mary, you say you have total faith and trust in me. Then why do you keep doubting me? Er, no, no, my lord. Please don't mistake me. I do trust you. Well, then, get someone to move that big stone from the entrance of the cave. A few people came forward and pushed the heavy stone away from the entrance to the cave. Some of the people immediately covered their noses with cloth, expecting a dirty smell from the decaying body. However, Jesus' disciples and those who believed in him slowly moved forward. Jesus went up to the cave and called out, Lazarus, come out, my dear friend. Look, your sisters have come to receive you. Everyone stood in shocked silence as a figure, draped in white strips, came to the mouth of the cave. Ah, my friend Lazarus, so you have woken up. There was stunned disbelief on the faces of the people gathered around, who were witnessing this remarkable miracle performed by Jesus. Martha and Mary had tears of happiness running down their faces. They rushed forward to embrace their dear brother. Lazarus then went and fell at Jesus' feet. My master, you came, you came. How could I have not come to you, my friend? Lord Jesus, you are truly the Messiah, the Son of God. The people who witnessed Lazarus come to life fell at the feet of Jesus also. There was no doubt now in anyone's mind that Jesus was indeed their Savior.